everyone welcome back so lovely to have you join me again it's Angela here and today I have a little journal that I've been working on for quite a while um, that I wanted to share with you today um, this is a journal uh, that one of my subscribers Kiara asked me um, if I could do something with one of the kits from my porch prints and so I had a look at it um, and I this is the kit the kit that I used was the one that you can see on the front here from my porch prints called Grandma's Kitchen. Um, and it's a recipe sort of kit. Um, and I quite like the idea because uh, <laughs> I've always wanted to put together something along the vintage line. Um, sort of in line with my grandma's recipe book um, that I always wanted to get hold of and I never managed to. And she was a great baker and a great cook and I loved uh, baking with her and it was the, the foundation for all the baking that I ever did um, and all the cooking as well. So um, I thought, well, let's have a go at it because, you know, really this is there's no butterflies, there's no flowers and it'll take me right out of my comfort zone. It's got a lot of red in it and I'm not a fan of red at all. So I had a go at it and this is what I've created. So I'm glad and thank you Kiara for challenging me on that. And um, this is what I have created. So I hope that, uh, um, that you guys like what I've done. Okay, so as I said, I've used the My Porsche Prince kit, uh, Grandma's Kitchen. Um, and I've also used another My porch print kit which is envelopes uh, vintage envelopes and postcards I've used that as well they're really lovely and neutral and I just wanted to use a couple in here and um, the other thing I've used is a kit two kits from Mrs. Cog and I haven't used Mr. Mrs. Cog's kits for ages but um, I do like the words and things and I wanted more quotes because I am a fan of quotes so I've used Mrs. Cog's kitchen words and quotes and then because I'm an addict, um, <laughs> chocolate addict that is, uh, I used a, a kit of hers called chocolate. So, you know, you can't go wrong if there's cooking involved, chocolate has to be there. So this is what I've done. All right, so let's see what we got. Right, I, I have made this out of an altered file folder. We've got a, a, a soft um, sort of um the, the fabrics fraying as it would uh, a soft sort of cover here one signature but as you can see pretty chunky at that you're looking at nine inches this way and six and a half inches that way all right so pretty much standard it has got a little twist in the tail so i wanted to make it a little bit different and obviously because it's recipes and people like to keep recipes from all sorts um, that we collect and write out. I wanted to have a lot of storage space as well. So yeah, we've got a bit of a chunky monkey and it wasn't the way I planned it. It just sort of got fatter when I started adding the ephemera. Okay, I'll stop talking now. Right, all the bows in here, um, I had to order in specially because as I said, red is not really my f colors. Um, and so I got them all from the lovely Plum Boutique and I just love their stuff there. So, um, yeah, I've got ribbons like this, um, the reds, um, neutrals, creams, everything in here. It's from Plum Boutique. All right. I'll put the link in the description box below. OK, so there's one of the ribbons there, this Rick Rack and this gorgeous gingham, which is so soft. I love it. Um, and on the front here, we've just got a couple of buttons. I've made a frame with one of the pages um, over there and um, just made a little window with a little card that um, I've put in here. You get a lot of these little tabs. Um, I've stuck the words on. You get some of the words that are typed up like that, all to do with food. Um, and I couldn't resist this little girl, so I've just put her um, in there like that. Okay, um, this is an image from the kit um, and pretty much everything else is from the kit. You get lots of background pages, lots of beautiful pages. So let's just go and have a look inside. Right, I've made this loose and you'll see at the end why, just to incorporate the back section as well. Okay, so if we open it up, uh, let's just check that's all in frame. It is. I've got a little... Um, 
foldy goody thing here. I don't know what we call this, but a little place with um, a little flip up that flips up. And these are all pages from the kit, so I'm not going to keep saying that. Um, and then this one that flips down, and then beautiful images here. Um, I've made a flap that flaps, a flip and a flap uh, with a little pocket um, with one of the little cards that I've put in there. There is a lot of storage space in here to store recipes and another flap um, and some more stuff. I'm not going to take out all the ephemera um, tags that I've enlarged. Um, beautiful tags. Put ribbons on that are pretty flat here. To try and keep it as flat as possible. Back to everything onto recyclable card. Um, and love the quotes and I've stuck them all over the place the pages in this kit are gorgeous so you can't go wrong there you've got these beautiful vintage recipes you've got all sorts of neutrals you've got the checked and the gingham it's got a really lovely cottagey home feel so I, I just loved it um, and of course these quotes are as I said from Mrs Cog and you'll see them all over if you can't stand the heat get out of the kitchen so i love that all right so you can store a lot more in these pockets here of course and in here um so that's what i've done there okay so that one goes down first i think and i've used um baker's twine here or butcher's twine i should say <laughs> Everything in here, I've tried to keep along the cooking theme. So I've gone with brown paper. I've gone with um, placemats, doilies, um, everything I could think of that related to um, food and eating. So wherever I could. All right, so we've got one of these gorgeous pages. I love the images in here. That's just one of the pages. And then this is the other side of that page. Um, I've done one of my one page flip outs, which you've seen me do on my YouTube channel. So there's that. And again, um, another one of the beautiful tags. I've enlarged these tags um, so they were smaller. And again, the beautiful ribbons from Plum Bertie. So that goes in there. And there are gorgeous recipes in here. Here you've got chocolate cake, marshmallow frosting. Um, I think that's from an old Mrs. Beaton's book. Um, so then I've just put a lot of ribbon, um, a lot of layering, um, and then that flips out and then we've got some more stuff in here. This one I'll take out because I printed this onto newsprint. Um, this is one of the, from one of the kits and um, I've just put that on there. I think this is a different kit. Um, it's also my porch prints, but I'll, I'll have a look and see what the... The name of it is there was a lot of um, vintage recipe kit so I quite like that and that made it feel like somebody had really handwritten it and kept it from their friend and they're putting it in here there are these gorgeous recipe cards where you can add your own recipes to as well so any old recipes I know I've got loads that I uh, learned from my grandma um, that could go on there and then lots of layering of different bits here tickets as well I think um, so yeah I'll put all the links below and then there's a pocket from the kit I've just laid up a couple of things again ribbons from Plum Boutique um, just a couple of bits of ephemera in there um, how true is that if more of us valued food and cheer and song above hoarded gold it would make a merrier world our truth i put on the rick rack here i've put the tabs on that look like that on the one side and the other this is um just paper i've laid up with the ribbons again um put some ephemera in there um i think this is an envelope yeah all right so that goes in there and that just goes in there lots of lovely vintage ephemera in this kit another one of the pages um here i've just made uh this is with toilet rolls you've seen me do the toilet roll pockets um this is a layered toilet roll pocket that i've laid up and put some of actually this doily digital on there and just some more ephemera pieces that came there 
gorgeous recipes yeah um <laughs> just for uh made a little tuck spot here some more you get these these are the vintage recipe cards and as i said this i think is a different kit of hers and they are really lovely handwritten recipes and it just went perfectly with this so i just stuck them all in there this is just one of my templates from my um digitals uh, templates too um, and just uh, a pocket and a tag that slides uh, in the back here so that was easily done with that template of mine all right so just check I'm, I'm not moving the book out of frame here right so there's another page gorgeous lovely images just a little envelope here like that that can open i've left this one unsealed you can either seal it or put some notes in there uh, or write in it so and here it is there's no sincerer love than the love of food just two little tickets um, that just goes on over here with some little paper clips that i've just put some ribbon on lots of stenciling in here quite a lot of neutral um pages so i just wanted to keep it neutral um i've just stuck this recipe on here which is for christmas plum pudding just put some of the ribbons onto the pages this is a belly band that comes in the kit so that's really lovely i've stuck some ribbon down the middle laid up with some images and things um this is from the, the postcards and i've backed it onto a recipe card template at the back and another one over here so those just go in there like that. Love that. Um, made a little bit of a tag here with some, this is re real vintage embroidery, hand embroidery that I had. And I've just laid it up here with some more. This is the embroidery anglaise again from Plum Boutique. This is um, a page I got from, um, it was gifted to me. Um, beautiful vintage a recipe pages um, again some quotes and I've laid it up here and you can write in there because it's just a backing page I've printed um, love this page beautiful page here I've made a centerpiece um, that I've just folded up uh, well not a centerpiece sort of it goes across to the other page where I've got pockets in the front here um, you know, little tags little recipes and then um, I've just covered it up and then made pockets at the back here as well. Um, on this side, I've just stuck this image over here just to bring in some color. Love apple pie. Oh my gosh, it's one of my favorite. This is a doily from my kit and I put this in here because I thought it was great because it, 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 it is a, an antique placemat um, and it is part of my doily kit and I thought it went perfectly the colors as well as um, it looks like you're ready to sit down and eat so I just put that there to add interest to the page and stuck it onto this um, tea stain paper here's one of the pages I have just put um, some decoupage because it was all about tea and cake and one of the tabs and just laid up something there um, another page made a little envelope um, pocket flip here so we've got a little tag this is from my templates the envelope templates um, here again some more quotes and I've stuck these down I've sewn some of the um, images straight onto the page Here's just a little coin envelope. I haven't put anything in this one, but it does open and you can put whatever you want in there. Um, so that's great. This is the other side of that. Uh, oh, this is a different vintage page I had. Um, and I've just made it into a pocket in the middle of the signature here. So we've got these little bits on the strings and then I had this lovely image I stuck there, um, folded this up, laid up some ribbons and labels and two pieces of ephemera. Again, you can write in there and that just goes in there. 
And then on this side, um, I am again printed this on newsprint so it would look really genuine like you've cut it out of a newspaper. And then again, some vintage um, recipe cards and again, some that you can write on yourself. So I've just put that all together and this is a genuine, um, uh, very old recipe book page. And then on the side I laid up this as a pocket and then just stuck some bits again in there. So <laughs> I cook what's your superpower, I love that. Right, lots of writing space. If you wanted to write journal in here or write some other recipes or um, in my case, write about recipes and remember the times I used to bake when I was little making those fairy cupcakes and what my role was in the production line. You know, those kind of things are going to go really well in here. Um, there's another apple crisps recipe. Just tied some ribbon on there. A um, little bit of ephemera on that page. Here I've just used one of my envelopes, um, laid up a couple of pieces here. Um, we've got a nice little card that slides in at the back there. Come here, book. <laughs> These two just go in the back there. And then uh, that just fits in there like that. Okay. Messy kitchen is a sign of happiness. How true is that? All right. So this side again, just a page, some nice writing space, another tab. Um, and again, the other side of that doily, which I've just laid up. And again, you could write on that. That would look really pretty. I've stuck it onto a tea stain page. Here's just a collage page. I've stuck that bit that comes from the kit in there. And this is the other side of that double pocket. So we've got a little envelope over here. Um, and we've got some bits of ephemera that are, this is just a page I've reduced and that's just one of the pieces of ephemera. So that goes in the back and that's in the front. Gorgeous. The other side of that vintage um, page. And then I've just stuck that image on there. Again, the place to write. And this is um, some vintage ticking. Um, I think this came from chapter one, actually. I just thought it would be perfect. So I've just used a bit as a tab here. Um, some more beautiful recipes um, here we've just got an envelope like that um, and I've just printed it on the other side you could put more recipes in there so that comes with a kit just put a little ribbon on the paper clip like that and stuck a quote on there as well Oh, that's because I've just let that loose. That was part of the kit, and I thought I'd just stick it in there. This, again, um, a three-layered pocket that comes in the kit. I've just laid it up with some ribbons and labels. I've stitched it all um, and stuck in three pieces of ephemera that um, that you get. And this one, I think, is from Mrs. Cog's chocolate kit. The, the Mrs. Cox chocolate Im, um, images go really well with this kit because a lot of them come from the same book um, as what my porch print must have used. Um, here is just a little piece of, this is antique lace, really old. And then here is just a little, you get this in the kit and then I've just stuck that on. Um, and then I've put in some different note papers in there just to make like a little booklet um, for any other additional writing you want to write down for recipes and here we've got this nice image these little um, pockets come in the kit I just um, laid up those tags um, and stuck them on there with little bits of ribbon so different color ones so I've just decided to put it on and layer it up like that with ribbon and just I liked how that turned out. Um, this side is a vintage um, serviette or napkin as you like to say. This is linen and what I've done is I've cut out the bits that had the red in. Um, I've measured it really tightly to the edge of the page here. Um, layered it up with some ribbon and I've just made a, a, a tip in here so I've stitched that in place so it's not going to move 
and you can write underneath there so that that's how that works i love this i cook with wine sometimes i even add it to the food <laughs> so there's that and then this i've just made with some baking paper and laid up these um little pockets here because baking paper is used in the kitchen i've just taken bits and pieces and i thought no I like the crinkle of that. We're going to have that there. So I've just got these um, little pockets like that. And you could, in fact, put something else at the back there if you wanted to. How cute is that? All right, so lots of places and layering and things going on. Right, so there's that page. We've got this again as a toilet roll pocket um, that I've made and I've got a video on that. Um, here is just some some more rickrack. Um, another big tag with a bit of ribbon there. As I said, try to keep the, the tops of this quite flat. So I like that. Um, I watch pot never boils. I put the bigger rickrack on there. And this side I have just, this is um, just one of these that opens up. I've just stenciled on the inside um, and I've stuck these bits on here. They were plain, so and that there was not there either. I've just stuck that on there and wrapped it around the page. So that just goes like that. Oops. There we go. Um, fruit cake. Love fruit cake. Another tab there. And then this is the back. Oops, this is just the back of the the journal. So you can see it's quite a chunky journal as far as pages go. And now what I've got here is again I wanted to have a lot of storage for recipes. So I've got the envelopes that I printed from the envelope kit itself. Um, and again, it's like you've had correspondence and recipes from friends of yours or whatever. So that goes into the pocket there. And then on this side, we have just some old recipes. Peak and pie. I love peak and pie. Ice cream and apple strudel. <laughs> and you can write on the back of those. All right, so those just go in there. Lots of writing space there. Um, and then if I close this up, um, it looks like the back of the journal. But in actual fact, what I've got is if you open that up, I've got a fold out here. Um, and we've got two separate things here. First of all, we've got this little, um, like a coin pocket thing that I made um, to fit in here um, with the papers from the kit. And you can open that up and you can store whatever it is that you can slide a big tag or, or anything in there. So that's the one thing. That all comes from the kit. That's doilies from my doilies. And I've just layered that all up. And it's a perfect size to fit here. And then on this side, um, this is, um, I was inspired by Clara who likes to do these. Um, so I thought I'd have a go at it myself. Um, and this is just a, a storage pouch um, to store any other bits that you pick up along your um, tracks of saving recipes. So this is a storage pouch for all of that. So you've got the lid um, and I've lined it all and everything like that. And then over here, let's see if you can see if I open that up. Um, you can see it's got a concertina pocket um, and in here... I mean, you could fit loads in there. Um, I've put loads of other things from the kit. So this kind of stuff. Um, and there were loads of other recipe, vintage recipe cards. And um, any other things that you find from magazines or whatever to do with your favorite recipes. They can all fit in here. There's plenty of space. And that just goes down and it closes like that. Oops. All right, so that's what we've got on the back here. So that's a lot of storage space for recipes. So if we have a look at that, um, that's how it all goes together. And then we just tie it together with this bow over here, which needs to just be in between those two. 
Okay, guys, so I hope that you've enjoyed that. It's taken me quite a while to do this, um, like journals do, because I just don't have lots of time um, between everything that I have to do. But I was determined to get this done today so that I could um, show you and share that with you. So I hope that you like it. Um, let me know what we think um, and leave a comment if you um, would like to. That would be lovely. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing that so that you can get the updates for all the new videos that I release every week. Um, and thank you guys for everything that you guys do. I appreciate all your comments and all your lovely kind words. You are all just amazing and it means the world to me. So until next time, I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye bye.